concerned, that's a lot more important than your stupid pride. When the time comes, I want Lena to marry into a proper family that I select. Due to that time, I want her to remain safe and innocent. Because if anyone should take advantage of my little girl, I will have to kill them. I got an email from Eva last night. Oh, you mean the same girl who left you because she wanted to travel around Africa? Australia. Yeah. So what's going on? She asked me if I wanted to stay with her parents when she was away. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, why don't we go swimming today after school? You'll be the first one to see my new bikini. I can't. I'd like to, but I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry to keep dropping on you like this, but I think one of my braces fell off yesterday, so... Oh, come on in. Thanks. Got it. Um, between the couch cushions, huh? <laughs> yeah, guys look there. What are you talking about? A couple of months ago, I read this article that said, like, 99% of all burglaries are committed by men. So the writer was recommending all these places that you should hide your valuables, or whatever kinds of stuff you have you think is important. But who the hell hides things in the fold of a couch? No, I was just kidding. But uh, honestly, I know that no guy would ever even think of looking where I hide my stuff. Well, if I ever own anything that's worth hiding, I will make sure to give you a call. <laughs> Jody. I know you didn't want to talk yesterday, so I didn't push it. But do you honestly expect me to believe that you came all the way back over here just to get your bracelet? Look, I said I don't want to talk about it, okay? Why? It's a really great look for your hat, even with the blood mark. Hey, don't you think this neckline should, like, come down and push up a little? <sighs> Not if you want me to keep my eyes on these budget reports. Hmm. <sighs> so, are we going to hit that new club tonight on Washington? It's, um... A champagne opening party. Mm, I can't, babe. I got a family dinner meeting tonight. But hey, call Ali, she'll do it. And I'm counting on you to be a good girl. Maybe I will, and maybe I won't. What do you care either way? Ali, have I been neglecting you? 
tell you what, how about I meet you after dinner? And then we end up at your place. Um, definitely more cleavage. Hey. You're a welcome sight. So I heard you were in Stockholm. I felt like I had to go. Make whatever piece I could. Well, for what it's worth, I know it meant a lot to you getting back with Stefan. I guess I didn't even realize how much. Why am I always too late, Lucas? Every time I turn around, I feel like the years are going and I'm still in the same place, wondering how I could have missed so many moments. Oh, sorry. Hey, don't be. I'm here for you, Charla, all right? Anytime you need to vent. Thanks. Not about ecstasy perfume. It wasn't you, OK? They had a change in management. They just decided to go in another direction. It's called Younger Lucas. And I'm fine with it, really. You don't seem very fine. I'm just a, a little on the edge. My niece, Stefan's daughter, she's here in Miami, and she came to stay with me. And I guess it just brought back a lot of memories of when I was her age. You know, all those <sighs> pent-up emotions and urgencies. <laughs> Sounds like my daily MO. <laughs> there it is. It's good to see you smile. Thank you, sir, for reminding me I still know how. Well, you're welcome, young lady. So, to what do I owe the pleasure? Actually, I came to ask you a favor. It's about Chrissy. Don't worry, Dolan. I'm not going anywhere. I'd be lying if I said I was tempted. Not that I'm not enjoying your balance company, but my whole life's back in Stockholm. It was. Yeah. All right? The page turned. There's a whole different chapter. I was there. Just trust me, will you? Wait a minute. Alex, Eva? Nobody needs that kind of trouble. Look, Dylan, it's different in Sweden. The kids don't go straight to college or jump into the family business. Eva had some things she wanted to do. Stuff that she needed to do without me along for the ride, and I, I respect that. Anyway, it's not like I begged her to stay. Look, I'm not coming down on you, right? I mean, she's cool. There's no question about it. The last place you need to be right now in this world is Stockholm. I mean, anywhere you'll go, you end up thinking about, you know, your... Go ahead, you can say it. It's cool. I'm not gonna fall into a thousand pieces. My mom and dad are dead. They're not coming back. There, I said it. It's out there. I feel okay. Eva's been in my life since I was six years old. It's a long time. It's a comfort thing, I guess. It's not like anyone knows what I'm going through right now, except me. But Eva, I sort of feel like she might know a little better than anyone else. Okay, I hear you. So invite her to Miami to visit, whatever. I don't know. Don't worry, dude. You're not getting rid of me that easy. Good. Because I'd hate to break the news to all the ladies around here who are dying for a piece of Alex. <laughs> sure you're going to be all right? Hey, I'm going to be sexual. Man. One of those tortured souls. I love this kind of stuff. Hell, next week I'll probably write a song about all this. Who knows? You gotta go with that. Hey, do me a favor. Please stop checking. Okay? <laughs> so let me get this straight. You want me to get your niece a job she's gonna hate? Like, uh, what, a gopher or something in the mailroom? 
The worst grunt job you can think of. Exactly. I don't get it. Chrissy thinks being a model and working in the fashion industry is all about glamour. OK, and you want to show her the down in the trenches grimy truth? You got it. With what, maybe a little embellishment? Even better. <laughs> Why are you so against her trying to be a model? Because I don't want her to turn out like me. I owe that to Nora. Well, I'm not so sure you're right about this, but I'll play along. Thank you, Lucas. I'll send Chrissy over. Sure. And hey, don't forget my standing offer. One strong shoulder to vent on? You got it. Absolutely. Take care. Hey, Lucas. Hey, I'm glad I caught you. Hey, well, you caught me. What's up? I went over all these headshots you sent me for potential faces of the millennia candidates. See anybody that jumped out at you? I'd date any of them, man. <laughs> yeah, <you're... laughs> yeah, but I didn't see anybody with that extra special pizzazz that made me forget about all the work I had to do. All right. Well, uh, tell you what. Um, we should be getting some, ne some new pictures probably by the end of next week. I'll just point them your way. Great. Hey, hey. Um, so I guess you'll be uh, going to uh, Big Bash your dad tonight? Oh, yeah. yeah. You going to cool. stop on? Yeah, I think so. You know, after uh, a requisite family dinner. Maybe I'll bring Hadley over. Great, great. Because I'm bringing somebody I think you want to see. It was just a big misunderstanding, OK? Just Let's just drop it. Why do you keep acting like this is not a big deal? Because it's not. Jody, you look. I know exactly how I looked. Whatever happened at the squeeze happened at the squeeze. Can we leave it there? All right, fine. You know what? Just do me a favor and leave. <laughs> what? You got what you came for, and I've got stuff to do, so I'll just see you later. Why are you acting like this? Me? Why am I acting like this? You're the one who's acting like I'm some kind of glorified bitch just because I'm worried about you. I mean, if you want to pretend that nothing happened, fine. Nothing happened. But I'm not going to keep asking you about this and have you treat me like I'm invading your privacy. No, it, it's not like that. I just, I don't want to talk about it. Sorry, I'm not built like that. So, um, I guess I'll see you later? I guess. Trying to convince me, or you're trying to convince yourself? Dylan, how did things get so screwed up between us? I don't think things are screwed up. They're just different. But will they ever be back to normal? Lindy, I don't know. Look, I'm not trying to corner you here. I just miss the way we used to talk. About anything. Everything. And I really can't do that with anyone else. You know? Well, it's just gonna take a little time. That's all. And uh, I happen to see Elena. Don't day. even mention that name to me. What are you talking about? Last time I checked, it, you guys were attached to the hip. Whatever, it's, it's not important. Well, 
I just think we've been growing apart ever since the beginning of the year. I mean, I say black, she says white. I don't know what her problem is. She's been your best friend since junior high. You don't think there's more to it than that? All I know is, if it continues the way it has been, I doubt we'll be speaking to each other by Christmas. Why? Well, <laughs> You're always welcome to join another holiday season with the Mary O'Keefe clan. <laughs> Thanks. I needed to hear that. from Roberto for five minutes. Pop, just ask me to look after him. You know what your head's at, Jimmy Ray? You think Roberto's totally gonna realize you're the right one for his daughter, huh? Forget it. Look, Pop, I got plans. I'm gonna move up in the organization. Roberto, you have to respect me. That's what you want too, right? To move up, to have the power. Power can be very deceptive. You think one person has it, then you find out it was somebody else all alone. What do you mean? Do as I tell you, Jimmy Ray. Take a little profile, show some respect. And when the time is right, the smoke clears, we'll see who's standing. Whoever that is, we'll have the real power. Sen köper jag ofta billigare kläder. Mm, du har råd att inte göra det. Det är ganska stor skillnad. Huvudsaken är att den ser bra ut på och den här passar lite perfekt. Ja, den är okej. Okay. Den är inte jämfört med dina fina kläder. Jag har goda nyheter. Jag hoppas i alla fall att du ska tycka det. Jaha, vadå? Jag åkte till Avantis morse och pratade med Mikael Stevon om nya ditt jobb. Va? Men du, Alva, vad sa han för något? Han var helt med på det. Det är sant. Hör... Har du skaffat mig ett jobb? Jag ska alltså bli modell. So, how was school today? Fine. And how's Dylan? Fine. Is everything all right, honey? Come on, talk to me. What do you want to talk about, Mom? Huh? about how happy I am that you're dating my coach, or how I'm some sort of joke at Sylvia High. Or maybe even how I don't want to play basketball anymore, because every time I see Coach Perez, it makes me sick. You better watch your mouth, young man. Don't forget who you're talking to. I don't care. I'm tired of this. You know, I'm sorry if it makes you happy, but it's making me miserable. <laughs> Commissioner, I was wondering if I could have a few words with you before your, your fundraiser. I'm busy right now, Roberto. Well, it will only take a little bit of your time. As a campaign pledge. I, I hope you find it satisfactory. Tate. I'm very mad at you, Crystal. 
Who is this? I've read your article. It's way off the mark. In what way? You're not getting the whole picture. What, what picture is that? Watch the mail. You'll see. Wait a minute, talk to me. This is uh, Dr. O'Keefe calling. I left you a phone message. I thank you for taking charge of my brother's children. I was thinking maybe we could uh, have dinner one night. That'd be lovely. You know, I started to ask myself, you know, why would Macy go AWOL right in the heat of Baz's little contest? I smell a cliffhanger. What? What? Unless he was busy doing something else. Uh, you mean in between plug to overthrow the Devon Empire? No, something more like covering his tracks. Do you have a girlfriend? Oh, uh, no, not really, but I kind of... Listen, it's a pretty simple question, tough guy. Yes or no? It concerns your business owner's insurance policy. It seems you won't be able to collect it. <laughs> Why is that? Well, as you know, there was an investigation and they discovered traces of plastic explosives, which of course indicates foul play. What the hell does this have to do with you? 